Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy, and I know I just uploaded Friday, but I'm really trying to get back into that having Monday. It's the best day for me, and I want to get on that schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and record today. It'll probably be short because I don't have a lot that I've done from Friday to Monday. Not a whole lot of difference, but there are a few things. So, all right, in Totally Hooked, of course, nothing's totally done. Sorry. I've had some other things going on this weekend, which you'll get to see. So, yeah, I didn't finish anything. Oh, well. Uh, in the basket, I have the virus shawl. And it is virus, not Venus. I don't know what my deal is. So, and I have finished the white part. And I've gone on. And this is that Donahue, um, what do you call it, color. And next to be misty and then steel. Um. As I've said before, I'm using up yarns, and with as big as this is, um, yeah, and that's not even blocked or anything. I don't want to put my stitch out. So, and I've got three more colors to go. So, I'm thinking that I will probably get a third project out of this yarn that I had for that sampler so and i just have this in one of the bags that i made so i can see it i'm one of those that i want to be able to see what's inside so yep and there we go so that one's done uh, not done but uh it's what i'm working on it's the one i carry with me constantly right now so uh on the wheel I haven't spun any from Friday to today, so that same white that you saw on there, the mohair, is still on there. It hasn't gone anywhere. Just saying. There's only so many hours in the day. I can't knit and sp or crochet and spin and sew. Yeah, I did some sewing. You'll see here in a little bit. Um, so, on the wheel, no change really. Um, RJ's World. So, RJ hasn't gotten to go skating. Uh, skating roping he hasn't gotten to go pretty much anywhere because the truck has been in and out of the mechanic shop he'll take it in the issue is it loses fuel pressure when you put a truck trailer with horses on it so it can drive around just fine then you put a little strain on the motor and it just won't go okay it, it can't get that thing they say it sounds like a fuel issue um he's taken it to one mechanic twice uh yeah it he's got another appointment i believe this thursday with a dealership he's going to take it to the dealership and and see what's going on um so that that way we can figure this out so he was supposed to go roping thursday and then saturday and both times he didn't get to um he had a rope on friday but he wasn't planning on going because he didn't get the truck back till like friday so um he came down here, I think, Saturday night and borrowed my car. And me and roommate watched a movie. So, and RJ actually came in and caught the end of the movie. Catch me if you can. It was, it's a Tom Hanks and Leo DiCaprio. There are some parts in it that just kind of lull. But overall, it's a, a pretty good movie. Um, it takes a lot to keep my interest, though. I'm not a big movie or TV watcher. So, yeah. It was called Catch Me If You Can. We got it off of Netflix. And even RJ, he came into the last and was doing it. And he, he said he was going to go back and rewatch the rest of it. Because it was pretty funny. Um, it was funny but serious. But, yeah, it, it was cool. So, and they kind of made it sound like it was based on a true story. I, I don't know because just because of the way they wrote the ending, uh, I don't know. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all that's going on in his world. And he ended up down here with me and roommate watching a movie, or he caught the last half. Um, he borrowed my car, went and saw Macy, just stuff like that. He hasn't riding horses is about all he's done. Uh, yesterday I called and checked on him. Some place around here I've got this big old socket that is about this big around. It's a 36 millimeter. And I picked it up yesterday for him because, and they're like 10 bucks for a socket. 
you know, like goes on a, yeah. Um, but he needs it to change the oil filter, or not oil, fuel filter. Our truck has two fuel filters. We've been changing one because we didn't know that there was two, so they changed the second um, and showed him how to do it, but you need this big 36 millimeter socket um, to do it. So I went and found it. And next time he will be changing both fuel filters. <laughs> so yeah, we do every other oil change is when we change the fuel filters. So anyway, all right, in the farmhouse, I took time and am kind of exploring masks. So I made this one for a friend. Um, he has an issue and it's that he has a beard and so he needed a special cutout. And then he also dips. So I came up with the idea of a mouth hole and then this over it. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I have no idea that that's going to work, but it's just something that I was playing with. Um, you know how you just start playing with something? Yeah. I spent like all day yesterday playing and cutting out and using brown paper to make a thing. I was like, oh, this will work. Oh, no, this won't. And the fabric is, I don't have all my fabric here. So. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it is what it is. I had played with it just haphazard. So, yeah, it was fun, though. I mean, me and and a girlfriend were sitting here at the table, and I mean, we were just, oh, oh you think we can do this for it? Yeah, should be able to. So, anyway, she was helping me, and I made the pattern out of a brown paper bag, just old school, just old school, and then... Um, she wanted to see if I could do it. Well, we played and got a little thing done of it. And then this is the one I have to get to her today to um, get where it needs to go. And we'll see. I don't know. He's a big guy. So, yeah. It, like, falls off my face. This is with it on my ears, over my hair. It's huge. But, anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works or if it works or... It might be too thick at the nose, but when you do it, it bunches up at the nose. So I wanted it to be able to give here so he can lift it up. I don't know. And you cannot blow a match out. Does this meet CDC guidelines? So let's go there real quick. According to the CDC, if you can blow a match out through your mask, it is too thin. And yes, you can blow a match out with one piece of cotton or one piece of um, some of those little blue ones that are really thin that everybody gives out with little no pieces and they're disposable and blah 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 some of those you can blow a match out through gotta watch that but that is their guideline and this you can't even come close the nose is covered three times because this is doubled and then this the mouth of course only has the one piece but that one piece is thicker than those disposable things. So this is upholstery material. So, yeah. Anyway, I played with that. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. It was just an idea. And we did it. Is it something that we're going to make? No. No, we did it specific to someone. Um, so, yeah. But it was quality time with a friend of mine. So, hey. Hey. That's a plus. Um, okay. Other than that, I mean, all day yesterday we played. I had the sewing machine up. <laughs> the whole table covered. Roommate's very understanding. <laughs> I put it all back. Um, and I actually did get some other stuff done in the farmhouse. And here is a clip of what I've gotten done. Or actually, we've gotten done around the house. Okay, so I moved my room around. There are things I still haven't done. I just shoved that up there. Um, the floor has not been vacuumed like where the other furniture was. Please remember Hitch freaks out at the vacuum, so I have to wait. Um, this wall has turned out to be too big for my wheel, so I'm probably not going to have it there, even if I push it up in the corner. 
it's still, yeah, there's just like a foot and I need, I'm going to put, I'm going to take it down, find a different place for it and put a table across there. Um, that dresser's empty. Uh, I could use it for storage. I just don't want it in here. I want a table right there and a chair so I can sew. Um, I've got my quilting squares and stuff up there. Uh, this will have to find a different spot. I just don't know where yet. So, um, and I think, now I have not taken the two <laughs> chairs out to the garage yet either. So, <laughs> and they're still here. And yes, that's my work stuff. I don't even know where I'll put my work stuff when I'm done. But anyway, um, that's my dresser. I do have to condition that. And I do have two repairs that have to be done to that dresser. And it will be perfect. Um, other than cleaning it up, oiling it up and all that. So, um, yeah, we've got the, um, ironing board will probably go in this closet. Just haven't gotten it there. Um, all that kind of stuff. But I did get the mo room moved around. This isn't going to be here. So, uh, the other thing that I think I'm going to do that one of the first projects sewing wise, uh, I guess it'd be the second cause I worked on something last night, but anyway, I think I want to make a new quilt for this bed. Um, it's not, this isn't a cute quilt. It's great, but you see how it doesn't tuck under. It, it's just a hair too short and see my sheets and everything. Yeah. Okay. I didn't make my bed. I just pulled it up. Okay. So yeah, I got sheets sticking out. And, okay. <laughs> anyway, but see how it's too short. It literally ends right here. And so I think I want to make one that's actually made for this bed. So that's going to be one of my things. Um, the light still has to be cleaned up, but it's beautiful. Um, let me see. I don't know if the lighting is going to work here, but ta -da! that's my bedroom at night. So, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, got it moved around. Now I'll take you into the kitchen and show you what else we got done. Okay, so there's Hitchy Boy. The other thing we got done is, I don't know if you remember, but all of the trim in this room was blue, and now it's gone. Um, you can see it's not sanded. Like, the bottom of the window is going to be replaced. There's still paint on there. This is around the door frame going into the living room. Um, and so it has to be sanded. But we took down all the trim, um, this, that. We're going to replace the trim, but I'm going to sand. Took all the... Now, the only thing we didn't take was the ceiling trim was still wood. Um, this right here, we're going to paint the inside of it. See how the gray isn't really coming off? But, you know, in the daylight and stuff, you really can't see it. So we're going to paint the inside of this window white. Okay. And then have it just be, uh, have this be wood, this will be white, and then the inside edges will be white. And then we're going to do the same to this window, is we're going to take it out, and we're actually going to remove the window, but leave the opening, and then we're going to retrim it. So if, because this piece of wood here has to be replaced. So if this stays and that stays, then it will be white on the edge of this, but the outside trim will be wood. So it will mirror that window. And I just think the white will reflect the light better. So anyway, yep, that's what we've gotten done on the house so far. So all the trim removed. I still have to sand it and get it ready to um, seal. And we are using an exterior seal because it's the only way I can get satin finish. Oil-based, um, yeah, it won't take three coats like it says, right? That's a plus. Okay, so yeah, we got the trim off. My bedroom's moved around. I do want to put a table in there. I think my wheel is too big. We, we might have to find some place else for that wheel, or I may have to store it. Um, I love that wheel and I would use it if I could get it set up, but it's just really big. Um, so I'm not willing to give up on it and I'm going to keep it till I find some place, a permanent home for it or whatever. So, um, when I say permanent home, I mean a permanent home 
in my space not anywhere else's it is not looking for a home it is with me it's staying with me i'll find a permanent place someplace so uh yeah anyway i think that is about it hitch is here at the my floor he's i think he wants to go out so i'll take him and moose out but really i know this is short but that's all i've got but it's just from friday to monday so if you think about it i got enough done on my weekend laundry too <laughs> so yeah laundry cleaned up the house um like i said roommate and i found some time just to sit and watch a movie so that was kind of weird for me not so much for roommate but weird for me all right ever get off here work phone's going off dog's got to go out i will talk to you guys hopefully next monday have a good one. Bye.